everyone, and welcome to Harv's World, where we are going to learn about field preparation. How do I get a 100% yield bonus every single time? I'm going to show you how. Not only am I going to show you how, I'm going to show you three different ways, depending on the field circumstances. Now, I've got all kinds of equipment set up here, as you can see, and I still don't have as much as I need, believe it or not. <laughs> Crazy, right? Anyway... We're going to look at three different ways. We're going to look at this um, if you need plowing and liming. We're going to look at it if you're using a cultivator and a seeder. And we're going to look at direct drilling. And when you're done, before this crop starts to grow, not only will you be at 100%, you will be fully fertilized. You can walk away from this field and wait for it to grow and harvest. You have nothing left to do. Outstanding. Just the way I like it. Absolutely outstanding. So the first thing we need to do before we even get started is take a look at our field. And you can see in the lower right hand corner, I've got a field info box. And that tells me that this crop previously had wheat in it, that it's been harvested, that it has no fertilizer on it, that it needs lime and that it needs plowing. So I know I need to lime and I need to plow. Important information. So obviously we're going to look at the liming and plowing version of field preparation first. Also keep in mind that if you go into your map, and I'm here on field 55 right now, this field right here on Elm Creek, scroll over to soil composition. This is going to give you even more information. It's going to tell you if you've got stones in your field. It's going to tell you what's been done and what still needs to be done. Needs rolling, needs lime, needs plowing. By clicking these, you can turn them off so you can see layers below. So if I turn plowing off, I can see the need lime requirement. If I turn lime off, I can see yeah, there's no real other problem in the field. But there is because we haven't even started on it yet. Now, one, the first little bit of information I'm going to share with you is this. Mulching is important. If you have a field that has never had anything in it before, you have two options. You can either skip the mulching step, take the hit the first time, and then mulch from that point forward, or you can throw in a quick crop of oilseed radish. Oilseed radish takes very little seed. Um, let it grow one time, which means you're basically going to wait until the next day, next month, according to FS22. Wait till the next month, jump in, then you can mulch that oilseed radish in and you've got your mulching requirement covered. So with all of that said, let's get started with option one. Our field needs lime, it needs plowing. You probably thought I was just going to jump into my plow. Not a chance. And we're going to go through these very quickly. The first thing I'm going to do on this field is throw the lime down. That's the first thing I want to do. Lime this field. And this is the Breed All Extra Super Wide Mega Lime Spreader, direct from Mod Hub. I'm reasonably sure that this is available for all platforms. Now I've swapped out my lime for fertilizer. Step two, as I'm sure you've guessed, fertilize this mother. Step three, mulch mulch like the wind and I'll bet you've guessed it at this point step four plow and this is the lizard 6m 9m straight from mod hub and I know this bad boy is available for all platforms now some of you are asking what about the rocks Harv what about the rocks if you've got and we'll go into more detail on this in a little bit if you've got large rocks in your field step five would be rock picking stone picking if you only have small rocks or small stones in your field, like I do, forget about it. Go on and seed. And that's what we're going to do. Step five, because I've only got small stones, is seeding. Step six is rolling. Very important, rolling. Remember I said I've only got small stones in my field? The reason I wasn't worried about them is because the roller will take care of my small stones. I don't have to worry about picking them up. So I can skip a step, thank goodness. And step seven in the plow lime category is fertilizer. Our final application of fertilizer in this field will be done. And there we go. One incredibly lovely 
fully complete field. And look at that. Field info says 100% yield bonus. Oh, yeah. And isn't that pretty? And that looks nice. Okay, so that is if your field needs uh, lime and plowing, those seven steps. Add an eight step if you've got large stones in your field and do the rock collecting right after you plow. Let's talk about rocks for just a minute. Stones. So I've got a couple pictures here. On the left, you'll see large stones. On the right, you see small stones. You can run the stone picker for either one. If you want to collect those stones, be my guest. Keep in mind, you have to collect the large ones. Otherwise, they stay in your field. They're not going to damage your yield. You'll still get a 100% yield bonus with rocks in your field or stones in your field, but it will do more damage to your equipment. So keep that in mind. That's what you need to know about stones. Small stones, a roller will knock them out. You don't have to pick them. You can skip that step if you want to. It's your choice. Okay, I'm going to get this field set up and ready for version number two. Okay, so this field has been harvested. We are all set up and ready to go. This is going to be the cultivator seeder option. No direct drill, so you're cultivating, then you're seeding, etc., etc. And of course, the first thing we're going to do is put a coat of fertilizer on this field. I always want to get my fertilizer down first. And I'll bet you guessed it. Step two in this plan is to mulch. And of course, step three, cultivate that field. Now that the cultivating's done, let the seeding begin. Step number four. And of course, step five had to be roll your field. Of course it is. What else could step six be but fertilize? Of course it is. <laughs> now, I'll bet you think we're done, don't you? We've got our yield bonus 100%, just like it should be. But if we want to keep that yield bonus at 100%, Look at field info. It says weeds are growing and I need to use a weeder. So, with that said, step number seven in this particular process. Get my weeder out and weed this field. And yes, I do not have to wait for weeds to grow. I can run my weeder right now and knock those bad boys out. Alright, that takes care of the weeding, and if I jump into my field right now, I can see 100% yield bonus, no weeds are growing, I am ready to rock my crop. Just let it grow, wait for it to harvest. I'm going to set this field one more time. Be right back. Okay, we're ready for version 3. This one we're going to call the direct drill method. If you've got a direct drill, which is a seeder, that does not re require cultivation. This is how you're going to do it. And you'll be able to walk away from this field and let it grow without even having to think about it until it's ready to harvest. Let's get going. And of course, step number one, get that fertilizer on there. That's right. Fertilize is always going to be the first thing you do. Now, unless you seriously have not been paying attention, I'm sure you knew that step two is mulch. Step three, break out that direct drill. It's going to cultivate, it's going to seed, and this one also fertilizes. And what's interesting about this, if you didn't know, let me show you. Oh, I need to get my mulching turned off. I need to get my rolling turned off but it actually is putting on that second application of fertilizer, which is something we've had difficulty with in the past, but not this time. Two applications of fertilizer, second one going on with the direct drill. And for those of you who have been paying attention and said, I'll bet step four is rolling, you win the Christmas turkey, that's right. 
Roll your field, step number four. Yes, the last step, step number five, is weeding our field. Now, some of you close observers may be asking at this point, but Harv, why didn't you weed during the first one? Well, if you'll recall the first one, we had to plow. Plows and subsoilers do not create weeds. Don't ask me why, but they don't, because they're a very deep uh, method of turning over the soil, I guess. That's, that's the game's logic. And so you do not get weeds in your field if you plow or subsoil. However, if you use a shallower method, such as a cultivator or a direct drill, you are generating weeds in your field. So you will need to weed that bad boy. That's going to be the final step. Getting this field prepped and ready so I can sit back. Go binge watch my favorite TV show and wait for my crops to grow. And there we go. Once again, 100% yield bonus, fully fertilized. Everything is as it should be. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. So that's three different methods, depending on what your field needs and what type of equipment you have on how to get your fields prepped and ready with a 100% yield bonus. Now, what am I taking into consideration as I'm, I'm sorting all of this out? The bonuses. First of all, no matter what you do to your field, you're going to get a 50% yield bonus just by putting seed in the ground. That's 50%. Next, my mulching. I emphasize mulching. You've got to get that mulching in. That is an additional 3% yield. It doesn't seem like much, but that adds up over time. 3%. Rolling. Rolling after you get that cedar in there. That's impotent. That's another 2%. Again, doesn't seem like much, but it will add up over time. And of course, the bigger the field, the higher that the, the value of that 2% becomes. And then last but not least, you need two applications of fertilizer. Each of those is 23%. Now, if you add all that up, that, that adds up to 101%. I really think that the two applications of fertilizer are 22.5% each, and the game just rounds them up to 23. That's my take on it. Anyway, those are your bonuses now. There are certain things that you have to do that don't add bonuses, but they will take away. What are the negatives? So keep in mind, at the beginning, we had to plow and lime. Now, I didn't have to plow and I didn't have to lime. I could have just planted a crop, but that would be stupid because not plowing is negative 15%. Automatically off the top of my yield bonus. Not liming is an additional negative 15%. And then the weeding. Weeds have two different values. The smaller weeds, they're negative 15% also. But if you're going to let your crop grow to full, they're going to get to be large weeds, and those large weeds are a negative 20%. Now, you're saying, well, I can just put herbicide on there. You can put herbicide on there, but... Herbicide only gives you back 5%. Even though it looks like all those weeds are dead, the herbicide is doing damage to your crop as well. So that weed negative goes from negative 20 to only negative 15%. You can salvage a little bit, but not very much, and herbicide's not cheap. So all of those things to keep in mind when you're preparing your field. But... Pick one of these three message, methods, and as you get more used to it, as you get more accustomed to it, you'll be able to mix and match some of this stuff to fit your play style. Anyway, this is my video on field preparation, getting to 100% yield every single time. I hope you found it informative, educational, and maybe even a little bit entertaining. If you did, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. As always, I very much appreciate you coming along for the ride. And until next time, take care.